What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. They want to focus in on uh, Clock Bishop. Excuse me, the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles, a 2014 draft eligible forward uh, who is ranked, I believe, 104th among uh, North American skaters. Let me double check that. Go to the cheat sheet. Yeah, 104th among North American skaters. So, look at him and go somewhere in fourth, probably fifth round. Uh, I think he's got a little bit more talent than he gets credit for. And when I say talent, I mean um, he's not a naturally gifted, you know, offensive player. He uh, he plays really, really hard though, and I, I think you know having that mindset will bump him up a little bit. And, you know, he's a kid I, I'd like to see go high because I, I really enjoy watching him play. He's got a great motor, and uh, you know he's um, you know never going to be a high end scorer, but I, I think with his you know hockey IQ, he's not a bad skater, and he's just all around you know get in there on the forecheck, um, back check, play hard defensively, you know stuff like that. That'll trans that'll do doing very well at the pro level. I mean, you look at the improvements he made this year. He improved in all statistical categories uh, with Cape Breton going from uh, 22 points to 33 points, uh, 58 games and they 56 games this year. And uh, was minus 30 last year on a really, really, really bad Cape Breton team. This year was only minus 8. So, you know, there's improvement there. Uh, Cape Breton definitely improved. They made the playoffs. Weren't in the playoffs long, but they made it. Uh, he had kind of a bad showing, one goal, and um, Minus seven in uh, in four games. You know, let's see that. You know, a little better, but you know, it is what it is with that. But you know, again, I think you draft this kid, knowing he's not going to be, you know, your, your first line center, but knowing he can play in a few different roles. Maybe he moves over to the wing long term. He's six feet, 185 pounds. Not a bad size kid at all. Um, you know, not not the the huge aircraft carrier type power forwards, but you know, not not Nathan Gerby either. And I, I mean, you know, I think his Headiness for the game and his effort will definitely offset his uh, lack of natural scoring ability. I just wrote an article yesterday. I'm not comparing the two as players, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of go with the, the same thing I wrote about. I wrote about Dustin Brown not having you know the same offensive prowess as Marion Gabbard. I was like, oh, we talk about being able to deliver a lot of high end. You know, I'm not say high end offense. He's a perennial 25 goal guy. Brown, um, is, it, that's what he is. You know, I know he had a bad year this year, but you know, just from going to the net, and going to those side traffic areas, playing hard, and being one of the best hitters, you know, most consistent hitters in the NHL. I think Bishop, you know, is kind of like that. You know, not as a player. Uh, I'm not compa- again, I'm not comparing the two. I've gotten away from making comparisons because um, I just think it's a lazy man's way out. But you know, I, I think in terms of using his um, wherewithal and you know, wanting it more, proverbially. I guess, uh, it has led to him getting more chances than if he was, you know, one of those guys that can skate through four guys and score, you know, and I think having that, having a guy like that on your team is a uh, definite, you know, he has a role to play, he understands that, and I think next year he'll break out, he'll be around a point a game next season, have some definite improvement, and uh, I think he's going to be a guy you hear from, um, you know, going forward, I think he's definitely going to be a um, sleeper pick, got to watch. But anyway, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles on Clock Bishop with the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the playoffs, throughout the final, and beyond. Later, guys.